currently wearing all Hello Kitty. I'm wearing this Hello Kitty shirt and my Hello Kitty heated hands. If you guys are a K-pop stan, have you guys listened to Chung Han's new song? Her title track is Eeny Meeny and then her other song is I'm Ready. And I'm telling you, I Am Ready is such a good fucking song. Like, I just ascend every time I listen to it. I haven't felt that way about a song in a while. So this is the makeup for today. There's like glitter on the eyes. And I've been loving this lip combo. It's like eyeshadow as lip liner and it makes my lips look super big. For today's video, I'm just gonna be telling you guys about my septum because it is real. Excuse me. I just know that's like a teenage boy doing that. I'm sorry, no grown man does that. I find it funny that there's actually boys out there that think that doing that with your car, like that loud engine sound, makes girls attracted to them is super weird. If anything, it turns them off. However, I will say there are some girls who do think that's attractive. And I'm just like, why do you think that's attractive? It's literally a car engine noise. How is that attractive? It's annoying. <sighs> I can still hear you. Today's video is just gonna be about my septum. Hopefully this will be of useful information for you guys, for anybody who wants a septum or anybody who has a septum. I got pierced with this kind of um, jewelry, but instead of two spikes, it's just two balls at the end. But yeah, they just pierced it. They didn't ask me what type of jewelry I wanted. And for the pain, I'd give it like a five out of 10. I would do it again, honestly. Like it wasn't that bad. You would think that it would hurt, but it really didn't. It made my eyes water, but it went by quickly. Like they pierced it quickly and it was fine. It just kind of stung afterwards. But other than that, like the actual piercing process wasn't painful and it was quick, super easy. So I would pierce it again. And if you are thinking about getting a septum, honestly, I recommend. A lot of people assume that a septum piercing hurts more than like a nostril, but honestly, I feel like a nostril piercing hurts more than a septum, but I can't really confirm that because I've never gotten my nostril pierced. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I was 16 when I got it pierced and I was a junior in high school. For the first couple of days after I got it pierced, Every time I would move it, it like stung and it made my eyes water. So when you get it pierced, try not to move it a lot because it will kind of sting. I had wanted a septum piercing for years and I always kept asking my parents, but they would always say no, but somehow I was able to convince them to get me a septum piercing. I think they agreed because I was a good kid. I will say though, they do make fun of me sometimes because they're like you look like a bull like i look like a little chanchita that's what they say like my mom deadass wanted me to get a nostril piercing but not a septum piercing because she just wasn't a big fan of it my mom would much rather me get a nostril than a septum but somehow she still agreed and i love my septum it's the only facial piercing i have at the moment I don't plan on stretching my septum anytime soon, nor in the near future. I don't know, I just don't really like the look of stretched septums on me. I just, I'm fine with this and it's easier to like hide it like that. That's another reason why I love septums because you can just flip it up and you can't even see it unless like you look up, then, you, then you'll see it. But other than that, nobody's gonna see it when it's first healing for the first couple of days try not to touch it like don't go like this or else it'll sting and honestly i recommend getting it pierced when you don't have a cold like when you don't have a runny nose because then like the mocos like the boogers are gonna get in like the wound and it's just gonna hurt so don't get pierced when you have a cold or like a runny nose and try not to get sick during the healing process also during the healing process don't flip it up like you can flip it up once it's healed but in the meantime just don't touch it now how i cleaned my septum is in the shower like 
I'd put um, Dr. Bronner's soap. I think it was the unscented soap. So I would take some Dr. Bronner's soap right here, unscented. And then while I was showering, I get some water. And then I'll just, um, what's it called? I'll blow in the water. Like, I'll blow my nose in the water. Oh my god, he's back. As I was saying, I would have some water right here and I would blow my nose right there a couple of times and yeah, that's just how I would clean my septum. But I think I have heard that you don't have to like clean your septum or you just don't do anything. Like in order for your septum to heal, I've heard that you just have to leave it alone. Like you don't necessarily have to clean it, you can just leave it alone and it'll heal by itself. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I think after like a month or two, I was able to change my um, jewelry and I got like this exact one, except it was bigger. And I don't know, when I was at the mall, it looked fine, but when I got home and I put it on, it was big. I'll show you like a picture if I can find it, but yeah, um, it was like big, like it was thicker than this but i was able to get it in surprisingly like i'm not sure if that stretched my septum i don't think it did but who knows but i don't think it stretched my septum at all honestly i don't really have anything else to say about my septum piercing so yeah that's the end for this video Look. okay but up close and personal we're up close and personal, needed to show you my makeup. There's a glitter on my lips. Oh, it looks weird. And my septum.